Hello there, and welcome back to another installment of SCP Readings with your reader here, G Modon. Today we're looking at SCP-2061. There is a link down in the description for you to follow along as I read out loud. SCP-2061 is a late 1970s Sharp LZ Mate EL1185 electronic printing pocket calculator. SCP-2061 produces a compulsive effect in more than 99% of humans viewing it in person within a range of approximately 20 meters. This effect is nullified if there is any solid physical object between SCP-2061 and the viewer, even if the object is transparent. Windows, plastic bags, and other clear objects have proven sufficient to prevent the manifestation of SCP-2061's effect. The compulsive urge manifests as an irresistible desire to insert any object capable of performing user-facing electronic mathematical calculations into one's own oral cavity as deeply as possible. This urge manifests regardless of the harm caused by its being acted upon, and a number of fatalities and severe tracheal injuries were caused by SCP-2061 prior to the object's transfer to SCP Foundation containment. SCP-2061's cognitohazardous effect does not appear to manifest on any individuals who meet the following criteria. Criterion A. Individuals who have received payment from the Sharp Corporation or any of its subsidiaries at any point in their lives. Criterion B. Individuals who have had unprotected sexual intercourse with those meeting Criterion A. Individuals having sexual intercourse with those meeting Criterion B, but not Criterion A, do not have immunity from SCP-2061's effects in four known instances. Interviews with Sharp Corporation executives and investigation into corporate records has thus far unearthed no purposeful connection between Sharp and SCP-2061. Recovery SCP-2061 was initially contained by the Trenton Police Department after a family of five died of asphyxiation from inserting SCP-2061 into their oral cavities in turn. Initial responding officer R. Allen was able to insert SCP-2061 into a sealed evidence bag as she met criteria B for SCP-2061 immunity. This prevented discovery of SCP-2061's anomalous effect until two investigators from the department died and one was hospitalized from its effects after removing SCP-2061 from its evidence bag, at which point the Foundation was notified. Initial press reports from the Trenton area were censored by Local Task Force 609 SimCath Super Bowl III. An excerpt of a Trenton Times article from 1976 regarding the first known 2061 event is reproduced below. Suicide Pact Entire local family chokes to death on a single calculator. Trenton. In an event local authorities are struggling to explain, a suburban family of five were found dead in their home today, all of apparently self-inflicted asphyxiation caused by choking on a single desk calculator. James, 45, Jennifer, 39, Andy, 15, Iris, 9, and Joseph, 4, Madeline were all found dead yesterday in their home. We, quite frankly, don't have an adequate explanation for these events, said Mercer County Coroner Reynold McClinney in a press conference yesterday. Footnotes Since SCP-2061's initial containment in 1979, this category of objects has dramatically expanded, including phones, PDAs, and other objects listed in external containment guidelines. Those able to be impacted by this compulsive urge are known as 2061 susceptible individuals and the requirement of unprotected sexual intercourse for the spread of SCP-2061 immunity are currently not fully understood beyond direct bodily fluid contact. Further study on these requirements is currently proposed by Foundation Demographic Researchers. From a glance, this SCP seems a bit, well, silly. A type of calculator that makes you shove it down your throat until you die. But the more you think about it, the more you realize just how absolutely horrible that is. Shoving something like that down your throat would absolutely not be a pleasant way to go. What I find most interesting about this SCP are those that are immune to its effects. Perhaps those immune are from the company that originally created this SCP, but that wouldn't exactly explain how having unprotected sex with those affiliated with the company would then become immune themselves. It's really something to ponder, and hey, if any of you have any theories on why this may be true, I'd love to read about them in the comments. So that has been SCP-2061. Thank you for joining me on this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.